Morning. Day seven, big rocks and pebbles and what they have to do with a calm Christmas. Uh, yesterday was really exciting, wasn't it? We had several guest stars. Archie made an appearance. My daughter made an appearance. The Robin came to join us again. And we finally have a name for him. Um, voted on by my daughter and Green Gables together. They came up with the name Bobby Robin, which I think is just so sweet. So now our little, little bird has a name. Um, I'm Elizabeth from the Joyful Garden and we are spending 10 minutes in the garden. Hi, we bit social. Thank you for joining us. Um, we are spending 10 minutes in the garden every day in the run up to Christmas. We've done it for seven days so far and we're going to keep going right the way up to the 24th of December to just start this Christmas season um, in a calmer, more joyful way. Um, yeah, I think my little girl might become making an appearance again today. We shall see. She's getting ready because today is St. Andrew's Day and uh, her school here in Edinburgh, they get to wear tartan on St. Andrew's Day. And my 10 year old son is not remotely interested. He will not be wearing any tartan, but she's excitedly getting her dress on. So uh, she's really excited about that. Anyway, ha today my title is um, big rocks and pebbles. And what do they have to do with a calm Christmas? Well, big rocks is another way of saying, talking about your priorities. I often say, my big rocks are my priority. And the funny thing is that when the word priority first kind of came into use, it didn't have a plural. You couldn't back then have priorities it just wasn't a thing. You had a priority. And I think that's really interesting because today when we say, oh, my priorities are, and then we list off like 20, 30 different things. And you think, well, if you really dig down to it, can all those things be your priority? And so now um, I talk about my big rocks and my pebbles. And this comes from, it was a professor, an American professor who started this. He, talk, he, he had this really like, interesting experiment where he got a big jar and he had, you know, he had big rocks and he had pebbles and he had sand and he had water. And he said, you know, what happens if you put the water in first? If you put the water in first, you can't get the pebbles and the sand and the rocks in. It just doesn't fit. And for him, the water was a metaphor for, you know, scrolling on social media or just doing the kind of silly, mindless things that we all do. And then, you know, sand was something that brought you joy. Maybe, I don't know, reading a book or something like that. And then you had little rocks and then you had your pebbles and then all the way up to your big rocks. And for me, I have two big rocks. And I think about this a lot. Uh, my two big rocks are my finger family and my health. And it, I used to think, oh, maybe, you know, my career and maybe all these other things should go into it, my home, all this kind of stuff. And don't get me wrong, that stuff is important. It's in my pebbles, but it's not a big rock. My home being tidy can't realistically be a top priority for me. What is a top priority for me is being there for my children and that doesn't always mean, you know, crafting and baking cookies. I just mean, if they need me, they know that I'm there. I'm emotionally available to them. And I'm not going to, you know, tell them to go away if they, re if they need me. I'm there. They know I'm here. That's, that's, that's a big rock. Um, and obviously, you know, keeping them healthy and <laughs> looking after them. Um, and the other big rock, and it took me a really long time to add this to the big rock category, but it's now in there. Um, and that's my own health, because I realized that when I don't look after my own health, <laughs> thank you, we bit social, thank you for, she just wrote good priorities. Because um, if I don't look after my own health, I can't be there for everybody else. You know, if I'm running on empty and I'm never taking time to slow down, I'm not eating well, all these kind of things, it just means that I can't actually be there for my children. And it also means that I have no energy left for the next tier down, which are my pebbles. Now, my pebbles are still really, really important to me. 
you know, there are things like my career, really important to me, my garden, slightly obsessed with it. Uh, you know, having a lovely home, providing a lovely home for my children is really important to me. But I know that if, you know, if I don't feel well and I know, you know, if I'm overwhelmed and stressed, that's a pebble. And so, no, <laughs> sorry, that's a big rock. And so if it means that, say that day, I'm not going to tidy the kitchen because actually what I need is half an hour just just to de-stress, then that is more important. And I think sometimes as women, as mothers, it can be really hard to really put ourselves at the top of that priority list and to think, oh, the house needs to be clean, the house needs to be tidy, the children need to be doing all these different activities. All these things, are we put them all higher than our own well-being. And this Christmas season, I really, really strongly encourage you to put yourself at the top of this list. Um, if any of you have had a look at my Christmas workbook, there's a whole section in there about how you come first, because you have to come first. If you are not nourished and calm and contented, and you know, if you haven't looked after yourself, it's just so hard to look after other people, don't you think? Um, <laughs> We but social wrote, I find it so hard to not tidy the kitchen or do the washing. My stuff is always last. And it's so true. And I think for all of us mothers and women, that's what we do. We're so nourishing and nurturing and giving that we look after everybody else in our world, you know, with so much passion and dedication. And we never give ourselves that same passion and dedication. Um, and, you know, I talk a lot about community, but maybe that's where, you know, community comes in and maybe you text a friend and you say, you know, I'm feel I've totally hit the wall, but the kitchen's a mess. And then, you know, your friend will text you back and because you're like, we know what other people need and we know how to look after, look after other people so much better than ourselves. So if you need that little bit of encouragement to just look after yourself, reach out to somebody who you know has your best interest at heart and just tell them how you're feeling and you know they will be fully in your corner to look after yourself don't you think Lottie? Yeah. here's my little girl again <laughs> <laughs> she's back all ready for st andrew's day aren't you yeah you've got st andrew's day at school at school so you got to wear tartan today didn't yeah. you we are today talking about our big rocks and our pebbles uh -huh. and by that i mean our priorities the most important things to us and then oh, Archie's back up the most important thing to him <coughs> is uh, climbing on the plant pot he's almost in the neighbor's garden <laughs> anyway what do you think Archie's priorities are what's the most important thing to Archie um spending time with us and running around <laughs> in the hermitage and jumping up on things that he really likes <laughs> yeah he loves doing that doesn't he um, Wee Bit Social is watching us and she said hello Lottie. <laughs> <laughs> and what about you? What is the most important thing to you in the world? Um, you. <laughs> oh, my little one. You're the most important thing for me. Looking after each other, isn't it? Actually, I'd say my big brother, Daddy, and you. <laughs> yeah. And Archie. <laughs> yeah, we kind of... So your big brother, <coughs> your daddy, Archie, and, you. and us. Yeah. We sometimes talk about that being our finger family, don't we? Yeah. Yeah, the people who, who are in this house who we all look after. Ice, there's ice on your... There is, oh my goodness, there actually is ice on my jacket. How did I... There's actually a bit of ice, I don't know if you can see it, on my jacket. It's a bit chilly today, isn't it? Yeah. Um, and what comes a next bit... after, the, after the, our finger family? What other oh, stuff is important? There's actually snow on those logs. There is actually snow on those logs. Or maybe it's ice. Um, yeah. Really After our finger family, what's the next most important stuff um, to you? My friends. Your friends. Oh, that's a lovely one. That, that's cold. Oh, <laughs> we have more ice. My hands are cold. Ah, now I've got ice on me. I managed to somehow get a bit of ice on Lottie's leggings. <laughs> I'm sorry. Anyway, I suppose we better get ready for school. 
Yesterday, we showed a plant that you, you recommended a plant. Do you remember? Yes. Do you remember which plant you recommended? My climbing Your climbing tree, tree the Acer. Should I recommend a plant today, or do you yes. want to recommend one? You should recommend. I should recommend a plant today. Maybe we will just turn this thing around. Uh, and... Oh. Do you see? So, there's a big mess of plants here. I might just go... Ah. And point out. Shall we go over? Do you remember, Lottie, which one is the Verbena banariensis? The big tree <laughs> Almost. Can you point to this plant here? So the plant that Lottie is pointing at is called Verbena banariensis. It's there's loads of it, isn't there? It's a, in in summer and autumn. It's got really beautiful little purple flowers on it, and it really. Like oh, there's a, t a couple of them left. Like, and they look a lot like those ones there. They do, don't they? And it just moves beautifully in the wind. And then in winter time, like, it moves like this. <laughs> yeah. Um, and there's Archie. He likes them too. And then in winter time, and you're he also left. He likes to lie on these flowers. He does. Can I just? Yeah. He likes to lie there, doesn't he? He likes to lie. Archie would probably recommend that. He loves lying the on the clover, doesn't he? Um, but yes, in winter time, you're left with these really lovely, almost kind of architectural seed heads. So, and it's super easy to grow, and it's just, it's really happy here, isn't it, in, in our Scottish garden? So yes, our plant recommendation for today is Verbena banariensis. And we would love it, Lottie and I, if you told us in the comments what your priorities are. What are your big rocks? Archie says bye to <laughs>